What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today, I just want to take you through a bit of a day in the life since I've actually left my full-time job. I thought it'd be interesting to see what my day actually looks like and to be honest, I'm gonna start making more of these because a lot of you always ask me, like, what does your day look like? I really enjoy the vlogs, so I may as well get them more involved. I've got quite a lot of things to do, quite a lot of errands to run. I've got to go to my supplier and drop off some items to be made and stuff like that, so it's gonna be a pretty good day. But if you do enjoy the video guys, don't forget to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And yeah, let's get this day started. I think one really good thing for me since leaving my job is I've got a lot more time and freedom to do what I want when I want. And like literally I just have to plan my day myself. Like nobody's there telling me what I have to do. Do you know what I mean? Because like, I'm my own boss now, which is very nice. It's what I've always wanted because I never really enjoy people telling me what to do or you have to be here at a certain time so it's very good and um, you have to be quite disciplined with it and stuff like that but I'm going to do a morning routine video anyway soon because a lot of you have asked me for that so that'll like lead on to my discipline and stuff like that but I'm just about to head for a morning walk which I'm still doing which is very nice whatever's not the best but you know what I mean then I'll get back and I'll crack on with some work on my laptop it's about 9am now so I've been sleeping a little bit longer just because I'd rather sleep better and then have a more productive day, sleep less, feel tired and the work quality isn't as good because I think a lot of people do underestimate how good sleep is and how much you need it. So especially when you go into the gym and training pretty hard as well, you need that recovery. But yeah, head, to the, head for the walk, come back, crack on. Alright guys, so just basically finished on editing the video that is going to be on Sunday. But this is going to be up way later than that. So what time is it now? It's like quarter to 12. I'm going to get my first meal for the day, which is going to be like my usual. I usually get like bacon, medallions, which is like no fat, um, some egg whites, tomato, and then like some bread, carbs, toast, something like that. I'll show you anyway. So one full tomato, four bacon medallions, and then I've actually started using egg whites. So like half a bottle of this from bulk powders, which is sick. It saves having to crack loads of eggs open. Liquid egg, white, liquid egg whites, which is what well, I've had about 3.75 egg whites there because I had half of one of them. But definitely make sure you go and check out these, the class. They're pretty cheap as well, you know. And I've got some toast, which is just toasting. Bread, which is toasting. It's nearly done. First meal of the day, not too high in calories. Quite nice and light, to be honest. Tuck in. So I'm just getting the shot for Instagram, but I'm actually getting it inside today because the weather outside is miserable and I've not got anyone to take a pic with me, so I don't really want to get my camera wet. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna get it in the kitchen here. Nice little spot. But if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go and follow me. I'll put it on the screen. It's just Josh so post literally outfits all the time, outfit ideas and stuff like that. So make sure you go and check it out. But I might do a bit of a time lapse of me getting a pic. The tripod set up. Picked up these new trainers the other day, guys. Literally like 40 quid on Adidas. The only thing is, I wore them to the gym yesterday and they were bloody rubbing me the whole time. And they weren't even too small either, so. It's very annoying, I think I need to wear them in a bit, but they're so nice as well. So nice. <laughs> it's the only problem when you get nice looking trainers and they don't fit. This is the outfit just to run the errands and then go to the gym after. So, Nuevo Club hoodie, we've got a Uniqlo Dry XT, which is so good for the gym. And then we've got the Sulfit joggers, the comfiest joggers you're ever gonna find. Honestly, these are what I'm taking to the supplier now to get more embroidered because they've literally nearly all run out of stock again and I'm starting to put more money into the business now so I can start to grow it a little bit more because obviously I've got more time on my hands. I need to go full time and full in with Sulfit now and the joggers and the hoodies are just the best sellers by far. So then the two things I'm gonna be investing in. If you wanna like know more about the business and that side of stuff, let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. I can always talk about that. But yeah, we'll go and drop off the stuff now at supply. I've got to go to the post office and head to the gym. <clears throat> right, 
Right, so what they, what's from the post office was a sample that I sent to my supplier in China, like November, October time last year. And it's just come back because it's unclaimed, so. I've already sent another one in the meantime. Very annoying. It's been a while since I've had a chat in the car, isn't it? Yeah, I used to do it all the time, you know, I need to get back onto it, so. Just sorted out all the um, stuff at the supplier, just dropped off the joggers. They're getting embroidered, probably gonna be 10 days, something like that, and then they'll be back on the website. So I'll have black, gray, and navy, and there's gonna be a lot more stock this time, so it's not gonna run out as quickly because I just, yeah, you need to learn to be better at stock control and stock management and where to have your money in the business. So like, it's better for me to have more money invested into stock rather than having more money just sat in the bank. Do you know, there's no point in it just being sat in the bank if it's just sat there like it's not, it's not earning me anything and it's not, it's better to keep reinvesting your profits back into the company when it's small like sulfur is. So, um, that's that done, just at the gym now, waiting to go in, just gonna, just getting in the right mindset because sometimes you do need to get yourself into that mindset before you go into the gym. So I'm just gonna do a bit of an arm session, I think, because I did chest and back yesterday and my back is killing because I didn't train, I was in Germany. It's killing, but yeah. And it's nice to just chat to you guys and just just be a bit more laid back rather than like talking about fashion advice and outfits and hauls and that all the time. It's nice to just just be myself and talk to you and so you can get to know me a bit more as well. But all right, let's go in, do the session, and I'll catch back up with you after that. <laughs> Decent little session in the gym to be fair. I went earlier than usual, what time was it? I went at like two, which was quite nice, you know. It wasn't that bad, it was quite busy though. A bit surprising, but just went to Tesco, picked up a few bits and picked up some lunch for my second meal. So I've got some sushi, which looks very nice, you know, from Tesco. I'm not a massive fan of fish sushi, but I'm a pretty big fan of, you know, like meat Get sushi. So, so it's like, had to be We've got katsu curry chicken and hoisin duck sushi on the focus very nice and then a chicken salad sandwich just gonna have this and then i can make something proper later i've got a banana as well so nice little second meal get this involved post workout and i might go in tk maxx you know i might go and have a quick nip in there because it's pretty close to here and i've not been in for a few weeks usually they add stuff don't they now and again so might be all right to have a look in quick look in tk I wasn't the best in TK Maxx, to be honest, guys. To be honest, I wasn't really in the mood to look through everything. I'm gonna go next week. They, sh they looked a bit out, and um, they looked a bit empty, all the hanging spaces, to be fair. So I'm gonna go next week when it's a bit quieter and just take my time and look through because I've got a few th more things to do tonight. Just got home, guys. To be honest, it's been a pretty busy day. I've just been doing a bit of work to the website, to the Sulphur Clothing website, just because. There's a few adjustments I wanted to make. Um, it's just like an ongoing process. If the if you've had a look at the website and there's like any changes or if it needs to be like made a little bit more simpler, a bit easier to use, let me know because I'm always open to like advice and feedback and stuff like that as well. If you have actually bought anything from Sulfit, make sure you leave a review because I have added reviews on the website now. So that's pretty good. People can see how good the joggers actually are and the hoodies and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna um, get a shower, get some more food. I'm gonna wrap up the video here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of a day in the life. It's like half past nine now. I'm just chilling on my laptop, doing a little bit of work, just like browsing the web really for like shopping ideas and stuff. And then I've got Love Island on the telly. Honestly, bit of a guilty pleasure. I'm not gonna lie. 
pretty good. If you want to check anything out from Sulfit Clothing, guys, that's going to be linked at the top of the description. Go and have a look there. We've got joggers, hoodies, t-shirts, loads of stuff. But I appreciate you all. I'll catch you on the next one. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. See you later, guys. <laughs>